Now, many are anxious for the day that Michigan lifts all COVID-19 restrictions, but the head of the Kent County Health Department warns us to put our focus elsewhere. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham is live this morning with what Dr. Adam London says about life returning to normal. Angela. Good morning, Meredith. In his latest briefing, Dr. London said what many of us have already suspected, which is that we need to prepare for a new normal post pandemic. Now, London says since the county seems to have been able to flatten the curve, the health department has been fielding questions about resuming activities once the stay at home order is lifted. That includes questions about bringing back things like concerts in the park, sporting events and large celebrations, things we all look forward to to, especially this time of year. London says the timing will depend on data and not the date, so there is no easy answer. However, what is easier to predict is the ongoing threat COVID-19 will pose until there is a vaccine or medicine to effectively treat it. The reality is that as long as the virus is here, there's going to be some risk. And so we all have to accept and, and recognize that uh, our workplaces, our public gatherings are never going to be 100% safe from COVID-19. So we need to do the things that we can do, the things that we're empowered to do to reduce that risk as much as possible. Now, Linda says some of the simple things we should expect to continue doing includes maintaining six feet separation from others. He says also expect to wear masks or some kind of cloth covering over your face or your mouth for an extended period of time. Dr. London also says it will be more important than ever for people to stay home when they're sick, regardless of symptoms. And also, he says to expect to see more people working from home when it is reasonably possible. Now, now, Dr. London says the past month or so has been all about making sure hospitals were able to handle a surge in patients and making sure that they were able to best save lives. He says, however, right now we must continue to be smart when it comes to protecting ourselves and limiting our exposure to risk.